Hello everyone and welcome to a game called Thing in Itself. This was just released on Steam. I was looking for a new game to play and one thing I really look for in games is things that make me think about who I am as a person. Makes me challenge my mind a little bit. We like those fun games but we also like games that make us think a little bit. So we have a fishbowl and Henry the Fish here and we'll get into what Thing in Itself is. It's short. I think there's a narrative about it, or a narrator about it, I should say. So we'll hear them talking, I'm guessing. I haven't started it yet. We'll see. But this is going to give us an explanation. Thing in itself is a interactive short story. It is not a game in a traditional sense, since it doesn't present a challenge to the player and doesn't have win or lose conditions. We hope you enjoy it. I think the game, at its core, is meant to help you try to understand the complications involved with trying to understand another person. It's so dark here. I can't even see my fingers. Like, we're in a cardboard box. I know. Good thing we're actually in a bed in this spacious room. It's not that spacious. But it's bigger than a box, right? I guess. Although, I used to like playing in those when I was little. I imagined I was a princess in my own castle. Did you do anything like that, Teddy? Duh! Oh. Okay. So now... You get to make choices based on what you feel. And I'm guessing- Oh, 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 Are oh, you asleep? Oh, God! No, no, sorry. Just got caught up in my own thoughts. I didn't know there was a timer. Did you have fun at the party? Yeah, I did. Thanks, Molly. Your friends are great. Wine was great. The music, though. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, it's not your fault. But I think my ears still bleed a little. I know. I was one song away from a mental breakdown. What I don't get is everybody there heard the same sound, right? from the same freaking air vibrations. If we hated it so much, how come they were so into it? Well, I can see two options. One, we are judgmental assholes. Ouch. Or two, have you heard the expression thing in itself? Why, yes I have, it sounds familiar. Like this video game, I actually, uh, it's, I don't know what it is, so it sounds familiar? It sounds familiar. What is it again? It's a philosophical concept by Immanuel Kant. Yes. I think it could help us rationalize our shitty moral character, which Kant probably didn't intend it for. That one. Tell me about that one. Okay. So, imagine there is nothing around you. Nothing at all. <coughs> and think of one specific object. One specific object. Chair, lamp, guitar. Let's do lamp. Oh, come on! I clicked Say lamp! chair from your room. I clicked lamp! So you know what it looks like. How big it is. Whatever. How much it weighs roughly. Yeah. That's what you think. Guess what? That stuff is completely irrelevant to how it actually is. Okay. <laughs> Everything in the world. Every single object. You see through a prism of who you are. It is your own version of it. Not its real self. Yeah. To you, it seems light. But a child, for instance, would think it's huge, immovable. Huge. You think it's brown, but maybe I see it as blue, and um, Henry here sees it as green. Henry's a fish. He's right. But Henry is a fish. Doesn't he see it in black and white? That's dog silly. Damn it. Our version of you black see, and white. You think you know something, but you don't understand its true nature. And the essence of any given thing will always be kind of a secret to you. Or a thing in itself. Huh. Long story short, the tasteless music you hear is totally shaped by yourself. Oh, good. The good part is that it's nobody's fault. Bad part is that people will never truly understand each other. That was amazing! <laughs> that was amazing. Seriously, <laughs> you need to tell me more stuff now. What is the meaning of life? Do we live in a hologram? I'm here all week and accept major credit cards. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna shut down, okay? You know, Molly. What? I'm really happy we met. Me too. Thanks again for hanging out with my friends tonight. It was lovely. Huh. <sighs> Interesting. So I was gonna say, it's about Kantian ethics, and I read up a little bit oh on boy, that. I forgot that I live in garbage. Molly will come at seven. I should quickly clean up before that. But they did or a before good- before the trash will take over and dissolve my body, which honestly might happen sooner. <laughs> but they did a good job of kind of explaining that it is about Kantian ethics. So I gotta clean up here. I got a pizza box. Got all sorts of stuff, so let's just start cleaning up here. For the whole weekend, we didn't step out of the room. 
and ate nothing but delivered pizza. That's amazing. We live in a wonderful time. That is amazing. That would be so great. Okay, so I have the pizza box, and here's the trash can. Oh, okay. So very 2D, but it's more about, like, the story it's telling, right? Don't worry about the graphics. Food and mess. Molly wanted Henry to like her and try to feed him. At least she meant well. So I can take these and throw them up. What about the fishbowl? There you go. Have a good appetite. Oh. Don't swim for half an hour after. So I got options here. Sketchbook. I can't click the sketchbook. Can't click the notebook. Can't click the textbooks. Do any of you guys have, like, a journal that you keep? What do you write in it? Just how your day was? Is it when you're sad? Is it when you're happy? Is it just, like, reminders of things to do or to how to, like, stay positive? Things like that. What do you guys do? Let me know. I would love to, I would love to hear about that. But we got a whiskey to bottle me, here. To me, whiskey normally tastes like dirt. But when Molly suggested to try it as a body shot, oh. the difference is uncanny. Oh. There you go, Molly. Molly knows how to party. So let's get rid of all these freaking pizza boxes. God dang it. Let's keep you learning about the story here. I like your sweatshirt, by the way. Molly likes it when I wear this shirt. She says I look like Waldo's sexy cousin. <laughs> Molly sounds amazing. Okay, what is this? Pillow? Let's put Things the pillow Things got out of hand this Sunday. What does that mean? Like, like, did you, did you bang like monkeys? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Or I've been reading fight. up on German philosophy ever since that conversation with Molly. I should treat those books with more respect. Book cutter, where do I put it? Okay. Oh, I have a bookcase. Duh. Here we go. Coat rack. Okay, what else can I do? Can I open this? I can't open this. Another we could bottle. either get a bottle of that good Chianti or three bottles of this cheap crap. There is something about lousy wine that makes it more fun. I've read that sometimes the only thing that makes more expensive wine tastes better is the fact that it's more expensive. There's been, like, scientific tests on it. Just, just, and, you know, maybe that kind of goes into this whole theory of it really just depends on how you see things rather Chuck, than what they Chuck, are. Ted, money will be over soon. Right? Because if it's, like, the same exact thing but one costs more and you think the one that costs more tastes better, it's all in your mind. It's what you think of it rather than what it actually is. And what you, what something is is completely based on what you see. And it's not, that, that existential crisis drives some people crazy. But... It's interesting to think about, I'd say. TikTok, she'll be here any minute. Oh god, she really will be. Holy man, she's gonna be here at seven. I got here like I got it fixed up just in time. Ding dong. Oh. You just rotated TikTok, the same thing. She'll be here any minute. Okay, well what can I do with the coat rack? Can I wear any of these? Doesn't look like it. I think Oh, I missed a wine bottle, my bad. And we got a guitar here. Can I do anything with <laughs> ding 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 ding? <laughs> so, I think I have just about everything cleaned up here, unless I need to touch anything in terms of chairs, or I missed something over here. I gotta make the sheets. It felt so warm with her under the blankets. Not hot, not stuffy, just warm. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? Looks great. Do I have a phone in here? Oh god, where is it? Where's the- Oh, right click. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Hey. Hey. I'll let you in in a second. The buzz is broken. Wait. Wait, don't go outside. Sorry, I actually called to say that I don't think I'll make it today. Oh. Yeah, it, it wasn't a very good day, and I think I just need a little space right now. Uh, is everything okay? Um, of course. Would you like to talk about it? No, it's fine, thanks. I'll just take a rain check tonight. Okay? Sure. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yeah! I will. Thanks for understanding. Hope you have a good night. You too. Well, well dang! Huh. Huh. Did you hear that, Henry? <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me tonight, buddy. This freaking fish. I hope Henry doesn't die. I'm like, I'm like attached to this fish now. Interesting. So, I think one of the principles of Kantian ethics is that people are moral. You have one unheard message. By definition? Because if they weren't, society wouldn't work? Or something like that? I don't know. You guys would have to explain it way better than what I understand it. It's actually kind of complicated. Okay, so... Hi, Ted. I wanted to do this semi-decent thing and talk with you instead of sending a text. Don't do it! I'm kind of glad I got the voicemail. Don't do it! Anyway, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Oh, fuck. I know everybody says that, and that everybody says they know that, but I swear it's nothing you've done. I just can't manage a relationship. 
I thought I could, but I was wrong. It's just not working out for me. Don't wait for anything. Please, go out. Maybe hook up with somebody. Or don't. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever will make you feel better. Please try to be okay. Why? Everything just got really red. What the hell? Semi-decent thing. What did she even mean by that? I thought everything was going so well that... I need to call her. Look at this. Look at all this. Okay, so everything turned red, which is, like, obviously very symbolic. But take a look at the items and what they say now. So, instead of... Closet, it's my ugly wardrobe. Instead of my cup, it's a tasteless mug. Instead of my lamp, it's a cheap lamp. An uncomfortable bunk instead of a bed. I think the funny one was like fish prison. <laughs> what is? It's just it's still it's just Henry though. Henry's our Henry's our rock man. He's our constant. He doesn't change. Fish junk food. Pointless notes. Mediocre art. Tedious books. Untuned plank. Interesting. Bonfire fuel. <laughs> Stupid board. Wow. Oversized watch. Like everything's super negative. Dusty lamp. <laughs> what about this, though? Earthy shit? <laughs> Hopefully you don't drink that earthy shit to drown your sorrows, man. But man, <laughs> I love- I love how Henry is like the one constant- Even this change, it was trash can, now it's garbage. That Henry, though. Gotta- gotta love that guy. Okay, what do we do here? What do we do here? Man, this is a tough one now. What do you do? What would you do after that? Would you just not call them back? Would you just be like, fine, that's what you wanted? Do they want me to call them back? Do they want me to talk? I mean, they would get that sense of closure then, right? But it's not going to be a fun moment. And it But is it, nece uh, is it necessary? I don't know. Let's take a look at our, our messages here. Angry. Oh. So I can send her a text. Right. Or I can call Seriously. Her. Fuck this. What am I supposed to do now? I'm working on it, man! Hook up with somebody. Right? Well, maybe I will. I think I even still have that stupid dating app on my phone somewhere. But now- maybe I should just go and get wasted on that bottle of earthy shit she likes so much. I- This is- This is my dating app? Oh, God. I don't know what to do. I guess. Doesn't pick up. Doesn't have a voicemail herself. Very convenient. Don't be so angry. Press the message icon to send a text. Well, the reason why I wanted to call her is because she said she wanted to talk to me. Right? Let's try calling her again. See if that changes anything. Still nothing. Huh. But I don't want to send any of these types of messages. Angry, passive aggressive, begging, self conscious. What about the dating? Like, I guess I don't know Molly well enough to feel any of these things. Let me think here. What if I broke up? Hmm. How would I feel? I guess what I do in that type of situation is just respect what they want. Respect what they said, and if they... <sighs> I mean, that's really all you do. You just leave them alone, right? Fine. I mean, I would like to send her a message saying something, like, other than one of these four nasty feelings to, like, let them know I heard them. But you know what? I tried calling her, so she knows I heard it. So, a text message isn't gonna do anything. Let's go on the dating app. Blonde girl on a beach. Nah. Girl with a hieroglyphic tattoo. Nah. Brunette taking a selfie in the bathroom. Oh, I wonder if there's a turd in the toilet in the background. <laughs> no more active users. Okay. Do I really? Do I really? Oh, shit, I drank it. Oh, no. I meant to move the bottle. Oh, God. Oh, God. I made a bad choice. Oh, and everything's like a wiggly wobbly now. 
Oh no. Like, do I have to send a message? Self-conscious, go for it. That's not what I wanted to send. Do I got, no. So, oh, I didn't send it? Angry. Nah. Like, passive aggressive is probably the worst. Ugh. All these are so nasty. So, I mean, I guess this one sounds the best to me. Not as in, like, please, baby, come back. It's more like a please. Can we, like, just talk it out so I know what happened? Is that it? There's no point in writing again. Yeah. No point in the... She won't pick up the phone. I don't want to keep adding to her missed call. Well, what do you want me to do? Get drunk? Should I really go out at this hour? No. Can I go to the bathroom? Wait, that's exit, so what is this? This must be the bathroom. But if I go out right now, I mean, I'm a little drunk. I might get into a freaking wreck. I drank like a third of a bottle of whiskey. Can I just go to sleep? Can I just, can I just sleep it off? Cause I can't go anywhere. Should I really go out at this hour? I said no, yeah. Fuck it. If I don't get some air now, I don't know what will happen to you. But now I'm like drunk. Anywhere but here. I didn't really, like, there could have been another option that I didn't see. I guess I did have to leave. Interesting. I hate waking up to a turn on TV. I don't know why, but it makes you feel guilty. Like you've done something bad or really embarrassing. Okay, this Maybe is interesting. Maybe I'm projecting. That is how I feel all the time now. At least I can switch the TV off. I should feed Henry. At least one of us shouldn't be suffering. <laughs> Gotta love Henry. Food flakes that she never learned to open properly. TV that we watched old sitcoms on. And everything's blue now, so he's feeling blue, right? Everything's a little dark. Bed where we stayed in till late afternoons. Cup, Molly's favorite. See, like, how he's, like, going on that, like, emotional roller coaster where... Now, I know this is, like, supposed to be canty and ethics, but th isn't, th isn't this kind of, like, the... Phases of grief or something like that too, where you're like really angry and then you like slowly move on over to acceptance. There's like denial, anger. I don't know what the what the exact order is, but huh, it's on her side. Interesting wardrobe with my hoodies that she liked to wear in the mornings. Huh. That I watched anxiously while waiting for her. DVD rack still has her movies. We never ended up watching. Front door that Molly might never walk into again. Coat rack where she put her pink trench coat. Bookcase where she studied every time she was taking her shoes off. Guitar, which I played songs I learned for her. Aww. Okay, well, let's feed Henry, because Henry, Henry's our rock, man. Henry? Buddy? You fucking shitting me? He was just, he was just swimming no. around. No! No, 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 damn it. Did he get excited I was bringing the poor, fish food over? Guy. And just die? He was- I should take him to the bathroom and flush him away. He was just swimming! Literally, just swimming! What? I looked over and he was like, whoop, 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 doing fishy things. And now he's dead? Oh my god, I'm just holding on to him. Oh god. Oh. Oh, Henry, no. Oh my god, put him back in. Maybe he's just sleeping. Put him back in! Put him back in! Oh! Oh, can I throw him in the trash? Oh god. That'd be so, so sad. Oh. Is this less sad? I don't know what goes in at the other end of a toilet. I'm so sorry, Henry. Bye. Oh. You are a great friend. He was the man, man! Oh, what a bad day! I need to talk with Molly. No, you don't. Why do you need to talk to Molly for? What's she gonna do? Hmm. Sketchbook. Contains too many sketches of Molly. Notebook that she liked to doodle in. Textbooks that I can't focus on anymore. Fishbowl. 
but she tapped slightly while talking with Henry. Wow, dude, you've got it bad right now. Everything you see is just her. <sighs> when I try calling, she doesn't pick up. Okay, never mind. Wow. That's a great mech. What, what, uh, it's my. You don't need to know that. Yeah, she does. Okay, let's tell her. What the? Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. I know how much he meant to you. He did. Henry was... He was the best. The he was wonderful. Are you okay? I love you. <laughs> what? Ted. I know, I know. You don't want a relationship. You don't want me to get attached. All the standard crap. Well, I did. I'm sorry. I don't know how to respond. Me either. It must be so hard for you to hear, but I can't force myself to feel another way. I kind of hate myself for this, actually. We had so much fun together. Wouldn't it be nice to have a box to hide and play in right now? It would be perfect. Sex! Plus sheep, what is this? Do you still have that little plus sheep I won you at the carnival? Of course I do. I called her Marcy, and she lives on my bedside table now. <laughs> Sex! <laughs> Road trip. Uh, did yeah. I will always be grateful for what we had together. For everything. You're such a sweet guy, but... I can't do this. Please try to understand me. I thought you said it's not possible. What? What is it? To really understand anybody. Oh. That's right. I did. Ted, I am sorry about all this. And about Henry. I know. Thanks. I know you will be okay. And... Ted? Yeah? I don't think we should talk anymore. It will be better this way for both of us. Okay? All right. I'll hang up now. Hope you feel better soon. Bye. Bye. What the? Whoa, what are you doing? You moving? You're moving. That's what you're doing. Oh, you're taking the door with you. <laughs> Back to the chair. This is so interesting. So, interesting. So, inevitably, there's going to be people in the chat that get upset that I wasn't clicking all the different dialogue options. And to you, I say, bleh! Because I think part of the, what this game is, is... At least the first time you play it, is... Exploring yourself a little bit, and understanding the choices you make when you apply them to somebody else's situation. And that's what I would have done, probably, right? Like, I told- I was guiding you guys through what I was thinking, and there's times I didn't say anything because I didn't feel like there was a good reason to say anything. And there's also times where I didn't realize how much time I had. It'd been nice to have, like, a little timer or something to know how much time I have to talk. But... I don't know. It was- it was cool to think- it was cool to, like, go through it and think about 
I liked how they gave that explanation of like how people see things differently. It would have been nice if we like heard what she was thinking, but like how how relatable is that? You know what I mean? Where you just sit there and you wish you understood what someone else was thinking if a relationship goes south, right? You just sit there and wonder and like you could try to ask, but are you gonna get anywhere? Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. And sometimes the opportunity to ask doesn't feel like it ever presents itself. I don't know, man. That was interesting. It's way more interesting than I was expecting. So, this was thing in itself. Let me know how you guys felt about how it made you think. What did it, what did it make you think of? I feel bad for Henry. That's definitely for sure. But I don't know. It was it was cool. I like games like this that kind of just take you and ground you down a little bit, make you think about other people, make you understand yourself a little bit more. And yeah, so thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.